Hello guys, welcome back to Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to find out the support reactions for this simply supported beam. This is a simply supported beam with the two loads acting on the beam and the two are the pointed or concentrated load. One is the inclined load of 5 kN acting at an angle of 45 degree. And this load acted at a distance of 4 meter from the lift support. And there is a pointed load of 3 kN acting at a distance of 4 meter from the right support. So we are interested to find out the support reactions for such type of the beam. So let's consider this is support A and this is support B. And this is a hinge support so it can provide the two reactions. One is the horizontal and one is the vertical. And it is only a roller support so it can only provide the vertical reaction. So first we have to draw the free body diagram for this beam. So first we have to draw the free body diagram for this beam. So we will draw the simple beam line. This is a beam and this is a support reaction which is a hinge support. So it can take the vertical reaction RAX RAY sorry vertical and also it can resist the horizontal rate force. So it will be RAX. So the two components of this support will be represented here in this free body diagram and also there is a roll support so it will only take the vertical reaction so it will be R B. So in the free body diagram we transfer these supports into their reactions. This hinge support can be shown in this vertical and horizontal component and also this roller support can be represented only by vertical support reactions. So we are interested to find out these support reactions. Also there is a load of 5 kN acting here at this point. 5 kN. So it makes an angle of 45 degree. It is an inclined load. So it will have two components. One horizontal, one vertical. The horizontal will be 5 cos of theta. And vertical will be 5 sin of theta. Because if this is a horizontal force acting, so it will always have two components. One will be the horizontal if this is force. So one will be the horizontal and one will be the vertical. The vertical will be represented by if sine of theta, if this is an angle of theta, and the horizontal will be if cost of theta. So similarly, here I divide this load into two components, 5. Sine of theta is the vertical component, it five, and 5 cos of theta is the horizontal component of this inclined load. Now, 3 kN load is also acting here at this point, 3 kN. So, the dimensions are 4 meter, 4 meter and 4 meter. So, this was the first step to draw the free body diagram. Now, it's easy to find out the support reactions. So starting with first the horizontal one a, RAX, so we can use this equilibrium equation that summation of all the horizontal force is equal to zero. This is the first equilibrium equation that we can find out the support, support reactions. So summation of all the horizontal forces will be equal to zero. And let's suppose the force is acting in this direction is taken as positive and the force acting in this direction is taken as negative. This is just our sign assumption. So the force act in this direction is this Rax, you can see here. So they are in the same direction, so it will be taken as positive. While forces, this force, 5 cos of 45 degree is acting in this direction. So it will be taken as negative. Minus 5 cos of 45 degree equal to 0. Summation of all the forces equal to 0. So Rax comes out to be, if we shift this value to the right side, it will become 5 cos of 45 degree so Rx comes out to be 3.53 kN so this is our first support reaction comes out to be 3.53 kN now to find out these support reactions two support reactions we have to use either this equation summation of vertical force is equal to 0 or we have to use summation of moment equal to 0 to find out these support reactions but here there are two unknowns, two vertical RB and RMY. So we cannot use this equation. That's why we have to prefer this equation. So 
for, we have to use this equation in order to find out the RP in RMY. So let's suppose summation of movement at point E equal to 0 at this point. At this is A point. So and let's suppose clockwise movement is taken as positive and the anti-clockwise movement is taken as negative. You should keep in mind that you this is just sign assumption. You can also take the clockwise movement is negative and the anti-clockwise is positive. But here I just assume that clockwise movement is taken as positive and the anti-clockwise is negative. So taking the summation of movement, all summation of movement at point A, so the first force that produces the movement about point A will be this RB and it creates movement about point B and about point A in the anti-clockwise direction as it is acting upward. So if I draw this, so you can see here it produces the movement in the anti-clockwise direction about point A, anti-clockwise. So it will be negative. So minus RB multiplying with the moment term because moment is always equal to force into moment term. Force into moment term. Force is RB and moment term is the distance from this load up to the point A because we want to find out the moment about point A. So it will be this 4 meter plus 4 meter plus 4 meter which will be total 12 meter. So this is the first moment created by this reaction. Now the, this load 3 kN also creates some moment about point A and it is acting downwards so it will create the clockwise moment about point A so it will be taken as positive. 3 into moment arm is the distance from this point up to A point which is 4 meter plus 4 meter which is 8 meter. Again this load 5 cos of theta does not produce any moment about point A because it passes through the point A. That's why this load cannot produce any moment about point A because there is zero moment arm. The moment arm is the perpendicular distance from the load point up to the point where you want to find the moment. Here this point is passed through the A so there is no moment arm. But for this load 5 sin theta it is acting downward so we have moment arm for this load. So it is acting downward it is creating the moment in the clockwise direction Again positive, 5 sin of theta. Multiplying it to the moment arm, the moment arm is the distance from this point up to this point which is 4 meter. So summation of all the moment about point E equal to 0. And now if we shift this value into the right side, so we will get 3 into 8. Here, 3 into 8. And here, 5 into sin 45. Multiplying it with the 4 equal to, if we shift this value to the right side, it will become positive, 12 RB. Now, if you find this, calculate this value, so it will become 38.12 equal to 12 RB. So, RB comes out to be 38.12 divided by 12. So, RB comes out to be 3.17 kN. So this is the support reactions here at this point. Now we have to find out this only RMY. So now we can use this equation because we have only one vertical reaction. When we have only one vertical or horizontal reaction, then we can use this support reaction, this equilibrium equation to then we can use this equilibrium equation to find out the support reaction. So summation of vertical force is equal to zero. Now, let's suppose that the upward force acting are taken as positive and the downward forces acting are taken as negative. The upward force acting R, RAY is acting upward and RB is acting upward. So, RAY plus RB. While the downward forces are 3 kN, so it will be taken as negative because we assume that these are acting downward and they will be negative. Minus 3 minus this 5 sine of theta, 5 sine of 45 degree. Summation of all the vertical forces is equal to 0. Now we know that Rb is 3.171. So if you put this value of Rb and move it into the right side, so we got this plus 3, it will become plus 3, it will become plus 5 sine 45, it become 3.53 minus Rb.
RB is 3.17, which we find out before. So R A Y comes out to be 9.7 kN. So this is the support reactions here, 9.7 kN. So this is the way how to find out the support reactions when there is an incline load acting on the beam. Hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.